The next question, again, incidentally, is from Planet Jeff. I know he asked a couple questions earlier, but he actually asked a bunch of good questions this show, so I wanted to answer this one as well. He says, Phil, uh, thank, uh, I'm glad that your switch back to Twitch TV streaming is working out well for you. When you switched over, I remember that you said that one of the reasons that you chose to do so was because you figured out a way that you could live stream at one quality or resolution for Twitch while you record at another quality or resolution for YouTube. This uh, addressed a specific issue, which Twist is having a hissy fit because you basically cannot stream at 1080p 60 frames per second because of their, their, their limitations. For a while, I could swear you were doing exactly that, still streaming at a lower resolution for Twitch, but then you were recording at the higher resolution for YouTube. But now, like since the new year, all I've been seeing recently on YouTube are videos recorded at 720p and 60 frames per second. What happened? If you give an explanation, I must have missed it, and I certainly missed the videos that were in full 1080p. When I watch full screen on my large monitor, it's, it's noticeable. Is there any chance that this will change? <clears throat> I'm glad that Jeff is bringing it up, because I mentioned it on pre-stream and on Twitter, and it doesn't necessarily make sense and or not everyone catches it, okay? Here's the thing about Twitch TV. They require you to stream at an incredibly low bitrate for any game in this day and age, 3,500, that's 3,500 kilobits or kilobytes, I'm not sure which it is, per second. You can't even really do the highest quality 720p video with that limitation, okay? It's still a little choppy and a little pixelated. I don't know why, with the big buyout from Amazon and all the money that's been funneled into this company over the past two to three years that I've been gone from it, why they didn't improve their business so that they could stream at higher quality. I mean, YouTube, the major <clears throat> positive I got from streaming on YouTube for two years was that I could stream at 1080p and 60 frames per second. Twitch, you can't do that. You just cannot. It will look like shit if you try to do that on Twitch. Choppy and terrible. I don't understand where all the money went. All this money that supposedly was invested in them from Amazon, why didn't they use it to improve their business? I don't know. I can't answer these questions, all right? So, with all the years people begging me to come back to Twitch, I said I could only come back if I could still stream at their low quality, but I find a way to at the same time to record videos for YouTube in a higher quality. I tried doing this with the, the old program OBS, it's the program I was using for streaming and capturing. It doesn't work. I would have to open two windows of it to do it. And honestly, when I tried it, it wouldn't work. My whole computer would crap out. It wouldn't be able to handle it. So I couldn't do it. All of a sudden, people said, well, did you realize they just added the capability to this other new program, OBS Studio, where you can stream at one quality and record at another? So I messed with it. What I messed with it, here's what I found. Yes, it works to some extent, okay? I can stream at those shitty limitations that Twitch has, so that's what I've been doing. And you know, some people have noticed my stream quality has significantly degraded since I streamed on YouTube, but that's the price I pay for streaming on Twitch because their limitations are terrible. I can't believe they haven't upped them yet. It's ridiculous. Um, that being said, <clears throat> okay, I have found that I can record at higher quality for YouTube, but I can't do full 1080p and 60 frames per second. I tried it with games such as Overwatch and... Modern Warfare Remastered, and when I tried it, the videos were very choppy. Not pixelated, they looked smooth, but the choppy, it, the frame rate was terrible. It was very choppy. So basically, my computer cannot handle recording at those two resolutions. So there's a solution, but it's a compromise, all right? I can either record, while streaming on Twitch, I can either record at full 1080p resolution, but only 30 frames per second, or I can record at 720p resolution lower, but at full 60 frames per second. So here's where it works and it doesn't. Like, for example, when I first started streaming on Twitch, I was playing Watch Dogs 2 and I was playing Final Fantasy 15. Those were the two games that I was kind of balancing at the time, right? Both of those games ran at 30 frames per second. So I captured it at 1080p, 30 frames per second, and they looked just as good as they always did on YouTube. There was no degrading quality at all because I was recording at this higher resolution and I didn't need 60 frames per second because the games didn't run at them, right? So that worked out perfectly, no problems. But then, <clears throat> when I started doing my year-end multiplayer event with patrons... And also, as I played more Overwatch, and I knew there was going to be other games that had 60 frames per second coming up, like Resident Evil 7, I knew there was going to be an issue. 
because those games run at 60, and if you don't record them at 60 frames, they look choppy, because to the native eye, you're used to seeing them running at the full 60 frames per second, right? So I knew that I had a choice to make, and I actually polled a few times on Twitter and on pre-stream and stuff, and I said, would you rather see a lower frame rate for these games and the higher resolution, or would you rather see the better frame rate? And overwhelmingly, the response that I got was frame rate. Most people were actually saying, we don't watch videos at 1080p. When we do, our computers can barely handle it, or our mobile devices don't look good. We usually watch around 720p anyway. So do 720p in 60 frames. So, excuse me, the last few times that I did <clears throat> multiplayer games with Overwatch, the whole playthrough of Dark Souls, the Redemption run, because guess what? That game doesn't even run at 1080p. That game only runs at 720p regardless. So that whole playthrough was at 720. And then Resident Evil 7, I recorded at 720p, but full 60 frames per second. All the videos I've been putting out recently are 720p. So admittedly, right, people might say, oh man, I, you know, I used to watch full screen on my monitor, now it looks a little bit more fuzzy. Yeah, because that was the trade-off I made. If I didn't do that... For example, when I played Resident Evil 7, it would have looked way lower frame rate. And people would have might have said, wow, Phil's playthrough looks inferior to other people's who, you know, everyone kind of recorded it at 60. Phil only did 30. What's up with that? So that's kind of the trade-off. Same thing right now with Yakuza 0. This is the first Yakuza game ever that actually runs fully. The entire game runs at 60 frames per second. So I'm recording at 60 and only recording at 720p resolution so that I could get the full 60 frames. Okay. Um, it is what it is. That's the trade-off that I'm dealing with. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't even know if upgrading my PC would allow me to do this, to stream at the, what Twitch wants, but then do full 1080p 60 frames per second at the same time. It could be a limitation with the OBS software. I don't know what it is, but that's the deal. So I apologize to anyone who loved watching my videos in 1080p. The good news is, <clears throat> moving forward, games that still run at 30 frames per second, I will be recording at 1080p, but if there's a game that runs at a higher frame rate, I need to go down to 720. Okay? Fair enough. For most people, it's probably not even an issue. Most people probably still don't watch videos at 1080p, but I'm just saying that's what's going on right now. All right?